Hi, I'm Mary Chibb with Bentley Systems. Today I want to show you a tower model I have been working on with an architect in New York, Tapani Tallow. Mr. Tallow has a vision for a super high-rise sustainable tower. He wanted to start some conceptual modeling, but without a specific site or a program, he wanted to keep the model flexible so that he could easily change the geometry of the tower based on specific design requirements that may come later. So we used Bentley's computational design software, Generative Components, to create a series of parametric models linked to one another so that we could control and modify everything from the overall height, the floor-to-floor -floor heights, the size of the core, and the free-form exterior skin. In this five-part series, I would like to show you how we went from his sketches to this series of tower model options. I will start in this first video with the basic geometry of the tower. In this first file, we laid out the basic footprint of the tower. This file will then be linked to additional files for the geometry of each floor. So the first step was to establish the central core of the building, centered about our base point. The dimensions of this core can be driven by two X and Y sliders. I then circumscribed an ellipse about the rectangle. So now if I change the core size, I also change the ellipse. Linked to that ellipse is an outer ellipse with four control points. These allow Mr. Tallow to locate the four wings of the building. In each wing, there's another local core with separate controllers to adjust the width and depth of the core. So first, there's a core offset that will control the location of those cores, and then a core depth that can be adjusted, and as well as core widths for A, B, C, and D. So it allows for varying size cores as needed. I then added additional sliders to control the leasing depth around each of these local cores, allowing for again the possibility that each wing, A, B, C, and D, may want to be controlled separately. Those depths are used to control elliptical arcs that begin to define the skin of the building, which will step as the building rises. So we can independently adjust. each wing to have different leasing depths. Those arcs are then connected by four tangent curves, and this creates the series of curves that could be combined in different combinations to create the exterior glass skin that not only steps as it goes up, but it allows for setbacks where gardens may be created. Now these various arcs and curves are designated as GC output properties, which means that when we link this model to another file, we will be able to link new geometry, such as the glass skin, to this geometry in this file. And then as this geometry is modified here, it will modify geometry in the files where it's linked. 
So this creates the base geometry for the tower, which can be modified and manipulated here to create multiple iterations of the footprint of the tower. So I have the first option set up. In the next session, we will link this geometry to a second GC file that will be used to create a stacking model with controls for the floor to floor height and the number of low, mid, and high rise floors, as well as the location of sky lobbies. This stacking model will in fact be used to drive the open buildings designer floor manager. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.